ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Addicted to Angling. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking you through a rig which I use a heck of a lot. Now, this rig is designed for more sunnier conditions, it is designed for fairly calm conditions, and it is also designed for conditions when there is not much onshore wind or much lateral wind at all. So it does narrow down when to use it, but when you do use it, I have found it can be absolutely killer. It really can. Now this rig is called the Earth Rig. Now what the Earth Rig is, it's a rig that comes off a boom just above the lead and it trails off. You can have it as much distance as you want from the actual boom itself. It consists of one, two or three hooks. You can even fish it as a pop-up. Now the best thing about this rig is you cast it out. What it is, is it's on a plain lead. The lead will move around and in the tide you will have the rig trailing along behind the lead, fairly close to the bottom if you're fishing it without a pop-up. It's deadly for bass, deadly for sole. It is also known as the Portuguese rig. Now it's called the Portuguese rig because years ago in one of the world championships the Portuguese national team created this rig apparently and that is where it gets its name from. Like I say it's absolutely killer, it's really easy to make. It's perfect for, like I say, sole. It's one of my favorite sole rigs because it sits on the bottom, trailing away. Best fished over clean ground, mixed ground to heavy ground. You might lose tackle because it's a fairly light rig and also because the lead will be slowly trundling round in the tide to find the fish. Now, the reason you fish it with a uh, rolling lead rather than a fixed lead is because the rolling lead will find all the gullies and fish holding features. Another reason, another one of my favourite ways to fish, we'll be doing videos on it in the future, both me and Will, and it's an absolutely, like I say, phenomenal rig. So what I'll do is, I'll come back in a second, and I'll show you the components you need to make the earth rig. Right, let me take you through all the components you need before making this rig to ensure that you get the rig completed as quickly, efficiently, and as near on perfect as you can. First of all, what you need, you need some fairly heavy-ish fluorocarbon. This rig really does has to be made with fluorocarbon because the reason for the fluorocarbon is obviously the light refraction properties of it in the water makes it near on invisible. So this is what creates the earth rig and makes it so good for fishing in daylight and picking those species off from the water. So for your main rig body, you will need a heavier type of fluorocarbon. This is the Yuki Neox. It's in at 23.7 pound. It is 0.26. Sometimes I'd go a lot lighter than this, depending on what I was targeting. If it was like loads of school bass around or black bream, I would go on to a slightly lighter rig body. But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to use a heavier one for the main rig body. Now, for the snoods that are coming off, you can use the same strength fluorocarbon if you wish. But sometimes I like to go lighter. This is, yet again, Yuki Neox fluorocarbon. This is 9.2 pounds and it is 0.165. This is what I would use on the snoods. Because obviously if you're fishing, the snoods are the main component attaching your hook to the rig. That is where the fish are going to be focusing all their attention. So you want something there which is going to give you the best possible opportunity to catch those fish. Next, you want your lead. Like I say, a plain lead, you can use a ball lead, you can use a pyramid lead, you can use a Americano lead. I do like these little flat, flat pyramid -y type things because they lay flat on the bottom, they roll around, they kick up lots and lots of dust as they're going along, loads of sand, loads of sediment that attracts flatfish if there's any in the area, and also it will slowly move in the tide, it won't roll as such, so you're not gonna get maximum movement, but that will hold your rig on the bottom and give you slight movement throughout the water. Next, you're gonna need hooks. Now, being a small fish rig and being used for fishing small baits like squid tentacles, little bits of fish, tiny maddies. I go down to size four, six, eight, sometimes even 10. If the conditions are really hot, super baking, you know, it looks like you're gonna be struggling for a bite. Tiny hooks, really light lines, 
that is the way forward. But for the purpose of this, I'm gonna be using size four hooks. If you want a pop-up, you can fit pop-ups to the end of your rig. That will pop your rig up in the water for species like garfish and things like that. So what I'll do at the end, I'll add these to it just to show you how to add them to the rig to pop it up. And of course, you're gonna want your main component. Your main component in this rig is your earth. Now, what it is, it's a boom. Your lid attaches to the bottom. Your main line attaches to the top. This moves around so you're not getting any tangles in the water or anything like that. This is all you need. It may not look much, but the rig will trail off this through the water, and that is what you use to fix your rig to your main line. That's the components you need. If you're gonna attempt creating this rig, make sure you have everything ready. And in the next part, I'll show you actually how to create the earth rig. Right, welcome back. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you through how to create the actual rig itself. Now what we do, you cut a piece of the main snood itself, so that's the heavier fluorocarbon. For the purpose of this, it's gonna be about two foot long, and you attach to that one of your hooks to the very end. Now the other end, you can either use a fast link or you know, an, a clip or something along them lines. What I'll do for this, I'll tie it straight to the earth just to show you how you can do it, but for ease of fishing, I would normally use a fast clip, but I couldn't find any in time to make this video. Now, once you have done that, you need to take a piece of your snood. And what you do is you, cut, you will cut your snood. And then you take your rig body, which is the heavier line. And you will then tie a sliding stop knot to this. So you go over one, two, three, four five but you then come back with the length and you then go back over this where you started the loop and you'll then come back through and go one two three four five now you'll see why we use a slide and stop knot in a minute. You then pull this tight. Making sure you wet it. Pull that tight. On your line. Now with a normal rig, you would have the hook trailing down off the bottom tag that hangs down. But for this rig, it doesn't work like that. So you cut this off close. What I'll do is I always use a um, pair of nail clippers for cutting my line, because it just gets it a lot closer. And with this rig, you see that top tag end? That is the one that you attach your hook to. Because if you look at that, it kicks it away. Now I will trim this up to there. That will then kick away from the main snood. If you had it trailing down, it would be against the main snood. It would spin around, it would catch, it would be no good for the type of fishing you want to do and you'd get in tangles. But then what I'd do is I would add your hook to the top snood As so, it's gonna be quite a short snood this, it's not gonna to be too long. You can make them as long as you want, as short as you want, depending on conditions, depending on what you wanna catch. I always find the shorter snoods with this seem to work better though. Right, so, get this hook attached. One, two, and then back through. Take that down, hook goes through, through the hook, and you go one, two, gotta watch out with this because that long trailing snood 
will catch your leg as it's just done with me. Tie that hook off. Trim it with your pair of nail scissors. And there you have it. That is your top snood on the earth. If you look at that, it actually stands away from the rig itself, which is what you want. You don't want it catching, so you don't add it to that bottom snood. You always add it to the top one. Now, I'm not going to add a second snood to that, but you can add one, obviously, further down there, closer to the hook, keeping the hook away from the bottom hook. So this is basically just a two-hook earth weave. Now, the reason you use a slide and stop now is, while you're fishing, if you want to adjust where your hook, where your snoods are, you can adjust it to and fro just by pulling the line through. Make sure it's tight enough though so no fish will actually pull the snood down otherwise you'll end up in tangles. And I will say with this, if you're fishing and you're getting eels in the area, eels will trash these rigs completely. But now what I'll do is I'll attach this to the earth, like so. Like I say, normally you can use fast link, something like that, which will obviously stop the snood itself from twisting. Quick release as well, if you do get an eel which trashes it. So there you have that attached to your snood. And what I'll do next, just attach the lead. That is your earth rig. Now, like I say, you'd normally add another snood to that, but you have your, your earth with your lead coming down. You'll have your hook, which will stand away from the actual trace itself, like so. And you then come down to your bottom rig. Like I say, you can use it mainly calm conditions is perfect. That's the best time to use it is when it's calm outside. You don't want too much onshore wind because it'll tangle on the cast. An offshore wind is fine. Lateral wind as well is okay if it's light, but if it's heavy, that'll blow around in the air and the pond, it will probably tangle when it hits the water. But yeah, that is the earth rig. Perfect for sole, perfect for fishing in clear conditions because you're using the fluorocarbon, because you're using light lines. You'll pick off your bream, you'll pick off your your species like your um, bass, you pick off your sole as well at night time because it sits close to the bottom. And if you did want to fish this as a pop-up, all you do is get your floating bead, floating bead over the bottom hook. Put one down, two down, and then that sits in the water. That's your lead, your lead will sit there and that will then pop it up so your other rig is the other hook sitting there, but obviously it'll be in the tide so it'll be hanging away. And this will sit up in the water in the upper layers. Put a little bit of mackerel flesh on there, a little bit of squid, something like that. Tiniest little bit on the hook, and you'll pick off your guards, you'll pick off your mullet, even putting maddies on it. You can pick off like your um, bass and your sea trout in your estuaries. So that is the earth rig. Hope it was um helpful for you. Go out, give it a go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know how you get on with it. There's a lot more videos to come. If you're not yet subscribed, give the video a like, hit the subscribe, give it a share. Get addicted to angling back out there. It's been a few years since we've actually got back on it. Time is now available for me and Will, and we're going to start getting these videos out for you, and we're going to help you in your shore angling adventures. So there you go. That's the Earth Rig. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the beach soon.